Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about Open Directory uh, because Open Directory is one of the services that we'll need to have available to run Profile Manager and some of the other things we've got. We'll talk about how to configure it, but we'll do it this time on how to configure it as a separate entity. Uh, one of the cool things about Profile Manager is that when you go and set up Profile Manager, if you don't have an Open Directory set up, it will automatically go out and set up an Open Directory for you in the process of setting up the Profile Manager service itself. But since Apple has now added Pro, uh, uh, Open Directory as a service on the sidebar here in the server app, I felt like we should uh, take a look at that individually so you can see how the setup works and how to walk through it. Now again, Open Directory was not something that was available in Lion. It was something that was uh, available as a menu item uh, in Lion. Uh, you could also get at some of your Open Directory settings uh, through Workgroup Manager and probably through Server Admin, but it wasn't something that, uh, that had a separate service running like it does now on the server application. So this is what uh, Open Directory looks like. And, and as you look at the screen, you can tell there's not a lot happening here. Uh, you've got a big on off button and you've got turn on the service to view settings. Okay, so basically it's just saying, hey, uh, there's nothing happening here. I can't show it to you. So for us to turn on the service to get started with Open Directory, that's what we'll do. So we're just going to, and let me just explain op Open Directory. The difference between an Open Directory and a regular local directory is this. Uh, a local directory is just the regular directory that happens with your Macs in your local environment. Open Directory adds network accounts. And so that allows you to do several different things. Uh, what it allows you to do is users to uh, log on to any computer in your network, if you set it up that way, and have their home folders available. Right, so they can do that. Now, you might say, well, on my Mac, I can have someone log in. Uh, yes, but you have to create a login on each of your Macs to make that happen. This would be one login that would get you into any computer on your network. So it creates a lot of cool options for you, and that's why an open directory is a good idea. The other thing is, is I would create the open, open directory before you create any user accounts, because if you're going to use open directory and you convert over, your user accounts are going to stay local accounts. They won't convert to open directory accounts unless you create brand new ones. So I would do this step first in the process. All right, so we have the option here of creating a new open directory domain or join an existing one as a replica. Well, this is more for the IT world where you've got existing domains, you want to create replicas, that kind of thing. As home users, we're not doing that, so it's just create a new open directory domain. We're going to click next. Now, it wants a directory administrator password. Now, there is a separate directory administrator password for an open directory as opposed to your regular uh, server uh, login account. So you want this to be something, again, that you'll remember. Uh, but again, this is something that you use to be able to work on your open directory master. So usually the default is DR, DIR admin. Um, you can leave it there. You can change it. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to leave, uh, leave that alone. I'm going to create a password. All right, and say next. Now, it's going to ask you for a name for your organization. And this is just going to be shown to help people identify your server. So when they come into your server, they're going to know who you are. Uh, I'm just going to um, type something similar to what we have on our private IP address. And then an admin email address. And uh, that, that could be uh, one that you've set up on your server, or it could just be one that you have uh, available. And so I'm just going to set up one that we have available. All right, and then you click Next. And now it says, hey, we're going to create, uh, the server is now going to become a directory server, an open directory server with these settings. Are you sure you want to do that? We say yes, and we set it up. And so now it goes about creating an open directory master. And you can see, one of the things in server, as this wheel is turning, you don't do anything because that means it's starting up processes, it's updating itself, and you don't want to get in the way of that. You want to make sure that this thing goes smoothly and uh, there are no problems. So once it's done setting this up, I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, once it's done creating the Open Directory Master, you're taken to this screen. You'll notice that the switch is now on. We've got a green light next to Open Directory in the sidebar. And you'll notice now it has our server information there, and it says Master. And that means that this server has an Open Directory Master attached to it. And it's got our IP address uh, showing right here.
Now, if you look at this, that's pretty much it. It doesn't look really fancy. The only real changes you can make to this is you can edit the global password uh, policy. If I click that, it allows you to set up very specific uh, password th um, settings for all of your users on this open directory. So you can disable login for a person at a specific date. So if you've got someone that you that's only going to be there for a week, you want to give them a login, but you want to disable it when they're done, you can do it here. You can say after they're done using it for so many days, or if it's inactive, or if they make so many failed attempts at logging in, you know, it looks like someone's trying to hack in, then it can automatically lock them out and disable their login. Uh, you can say that passwords must differ from the account name. they got to contain at least one letter, uh, one numeric character. I mean, you can specify here exactly how the passwords have to work so that it's set to whatever security level you want it to be. And so this is where you would make those uh, different global password settings. You do it right in here and on your open directory. And then that way, anybody, any account you create for anybody who's logging in, it's got to meet all of these terms or otherwise they won't be able to log into their account. All right, so I'm just going to cancel that because I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. Now, you'll also notice this little locales area over here. If we click Edit, uh, there's really nothing to change here. It's just saying it's the default locale. It's telling you the server, any client subnets. If you want to add specific subnets, again, beyond what you would probably use as a home user, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can put a comment in there as well. So it's a comment that kind of goes along with the directory. So if other people are looking at the directory, they know what this one is for and what it's about. Again. That more for corporate users, as home users, you're not going to need to use that. So we'll click Cancel. Now, the only other thing you can do with this is you notice the minus button. If I click the minus button here, it will completely destroy my Open Directory Master and allow me to start over fresh. Again, with that, though, it'll destroy all of your user settings and anything you've set up in there. So you want to you know, not use that unless you absolutely have to. So that's the setting for uh, Open Directory. Uh, now what will happen is when I show you how to create users and groups, I'll show you the difference between an open directory account and a regular local account, and you'll see what that, what that looks like. So that's really it. That's all there is to creating an open directory master. Now we're ready to be able to do some of our other setups for some of our other services on Lion, Mountain Lion Server. So that's all I have for you this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.